Jerry at Fair Oaks. Nice town, isn't it? Hey, Bumps, Mr. Randall, look. Oh, what is it, Jerry? That bus over there. Uh, where, Jerry? That big blue bus right there in front of the station. See the big gold letters? It says, Fair Oaks Military Academy. Oh, well, sure enough. And here comes a cadet. He just got out of it. Hey, that's pretty nice. <laughs> that's a mighty fine-looking young man in that uniform. Hey, he's coming this way. Yeah. How do you do, gentlemen? Uh, how do you do, young man? Uh, hello. Uh, are you Mr. Dugan? Jerry. You're Mr. Dugan, aren't you? Who, me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cadet Phillips of Farrell's Military Academy. I've come down to get you. Uh, the school bus is right over here. If you'll just come with me, please. Yes, sir. Can you manage with your bags all right? Oh, yes, thank you. We're all right. You just lead the way. Say, hey, he's snappy, isn't he? He's a real cadet. Yes, sir. Makes me happy to think that Jerry will look like that soon. They're sure keen-looking uniforms, aren't they? You bet they are. Well, here we are. Just step right in. Yeah, we'll just go right ahead, Jerry. Come on, Ray. <laughs> Now, if you'll sit over here on the right, I'll try to point out some of the things of interest on our way to the campus. Ah, fine, thanks. Here. Sit right here, Jerry. Okay. Uh, all set, Kirk, but take it slow going back. Okay, Phillips. Now, as soon as we make this turn... Oh, here we are, right here. This is Fair Oaks Avenue, gentlemen. This is the main street of Fair Oaks and runs from the campus to the station. Oh, it's a pretty little town. Mm, yes, sir, it is. Now, right here on this corner is the city hall and courthouse. Mm, nice buildings. And across the street, there in the middle of the block, is our new post office. It was just completed a few months ago. Say, that'd be a credit to any town. That's a fine-looking post office. Yes, there's some fine-looking stores along here, too. And if you'll notice this market on the next corner, the large one on the right... Mm -hmm. Central Market. Hey, it is a big one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. The owner of that market was of the first graduating class at FMA. FMA? Uh, Fair Oaks Military Academy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get used to that here. Yeah. Uh, I hope this isn't too much like a sightseeing tour. Oh, no, no. I should say not, son. This is all very interesting. When we get to this next corner, if you'll look right down to the end of the street, you'll see the opera house. It's one of the oldest buildings around here. There it is. See it? Oh, oh yes, yeah. Yes, big one, too. Is it used anymore? Yes, sir, once in a while. They have concerts there occasionally, and sometimes a traveling show comes through and plays there. Now, this gray building in the middle of the block, this is a public library. Hey, is that the school right ahead? Mm -hmm, yes. You can see the archways now. Oh, yes, sir. The uh, big center arch is for automobiles, and the two smaller arches on either side are for pedestrians. But <laughs> that doesn't mean you, Mr. Dugan, or me either. Yeah, but we're pedestrians. Mm -hmm, but we're also plebes. Thebes? Oh, what's that? Well, until you've finished your first year at FMA, you're called a plebe. That's another name for freshman. And we plebes don't have all the liberty an upperclassman enjoys. Now, the archway is only the first of many traditional customs you'll learn about. You won't be told about the archway again, so remember to use the driveway and not the walks on either side. Well, look at this. A high brick wall. Mm, yes, sir. That wall runs all the way around the campus. Yeah, 
bumps. Just look at those big oak trees. Why, they're beautiful. Yes, sir, they sure are, sir. Yeah, Fair Oaks is certainly a fitting name. Mm, they're very old, sir. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And getting more beautiful with the years. Uh, excuse me, sir. This last building on the left, just before we enter the archway and get onto the campus. Yes? Uh, the last little store there, the one nearest the campus wall, mm -hmm. that's a sort of hangout for the cadets during recreation period. Oh, it's an ice cream parlor. Mm -hmm, that's right. But you can buy most anything there, from newspapers and magazines to shoe polish and soap. <laughs> well, uh, that's good to know. <laughs> an old Scotchman runs the place. His name's William McLeod. All the fellas think an awful lot of him. You'll like him too, Dugan. Well, we're on the campus now. See, that's Custis Hall straight ahead, the administration building. Oh, is that where uh, Major Davis's office is? Mm -hmm, that's right, sir. Well, here we are. All right, go ahead, Jerry. You get out first. Come on, Rags. Well, isn't this nice? Oh, you bet. What do you think of it, Jerry? Oh, I like it. Isn't the air nice and fresh? <laughs> it's a whole lot different than the backyard at the circus, all right. Shall I wait? Oh, uh, are you returning to the station soon? Oh, say, that's right. Yes, yes, we're catching the limited. Yeah, you'd better wait, Kirk. All right, the bus will be here. Might as well leave our luggage right in the bus, then. Yeah, that's a ticket, sure. Yes, your things will be safe there. Now, if you'll just come with me, please. Hey, just look at those big pillars. Yes, sir, and all those steps. Mm. I'm beginning to like it already. Oh, you love it here at Fair Oaks, Jerry. Yeah, there's something grand about this building, Bumps. You know, Mr. Randall, I feel kind of important being able to go to this school. That's the way to feel, Jerry. Hey, wait. Uh, what is it, Jerry? Look, up there over the doorway, see that motto? Toil is a father of fame. Carved right into the stone. Mm hmm. You just think of that, Jerry. Those are true words. Mm, that's great. Toil is the father of fame. Oh, he's holding the door open oh, for yes. us. Come on. Right through here, gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, there's a school flag up on the wall there. Blue and gold. Hey, those are the colors the bus is painted. Mm hmm. Those are our school colors, Dugan. Blue and gold. Oh, I sure like them. Don't you, Bumps? Pretty, Jerry. Very pretty. Excuse me. This is Major Davis's office. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Cadet Phillips reporting, sir. Have your party come in. Yes, sir. Right this way, gentlemen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, how do you do, Major Davis? I'm Mr. Randall. Well, I'm happy to know you, Mr. Randall. Uh, this is uh, Bumps, Major Davis, the head clown of my circus. How do you do, sir? I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Uh, well, Major Davis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is Jerry Dugan, Major. Well, well, young man, welcome to Fair Oaks. Uh, won't you sit down, gentlemen? Thank you. Thanks. Uh, that'll be all, Phillips. You might wait outside. Yes, sir. Thanks, be quiet. Well, a cute little fellow. Your dog, Jerry? Yes, sir. Uh, another member of the Randall Brothers Circus, Major. Well, <laughs> so you've been with the circus, is that right, Jerry? Yes, sir. Well, we'll just talk a little bit about you, and while we're talking, I'll be filling out these admittance papers. If you care to, Mr. Randall, you can glance over this in the meanwhile. Mm. Uh, here you are, sir. Thanks. Uh, that's the tuition fee and other expenses. Oh, oh yes, yes. Now then, uh, what was your father's name, Jerry? Uh, Timothy. Timothy Dugan. Do you have any living relatives? Yes, sir. My uncle. His name is Uncle Dan. Daniel uh, Dugan. Uh-huh. And Mr. Randall is your legal guardian. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I'll just make you out a check for the whole amount, Major Davis. The tuition, uniforms, and his expense money. Fine, Mr. Randall. Well, well I don't like to interrupt, but... Uh, what is it, Bumps? Well, our train, Sam. We haven't got a whole lot of time. Oh, well, that's right. We want to catch that limited back, Major. I can't stay away from the circus too long. Oh, no, that's too bad. Aren't you even going to look over the grounds and the buildings? Well, I'd like to very much, in fact, but uh, business is business, you know. Well, perhaps you can come down here and pay Jerry a visit one of these days. By that time, he can take you around himself. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's an idea. Now, let's see. <laughs> you only have about 30 minutes before that train leaves. I'll make this as brief as possible. Uh, perhaps you'd better fill this out yourself, Jerry. Uh, pull your chair right up there to that desk. All right. Here's a pen. Yes, sir, thank you. You'll find the questions easy to answer. But if you get stuck, just call for help. Yes, sir. And here's the check, Major, for the full amount. Thank you, Mr. Randall. Now, it's the custom, unless otherwise specified, to allow first-year students a dollar and a half a week spending. No, yeah, fine, fine. It's quite all right. Well, I think it's safe to say that Jerry will get along all right at Fair Oaks. I'm sure of it. Uh, how are you making out, Jerry? Okay. I'm almost finished. Just two more questions to answer. Good. Now, your mailing address, Mr. Randall, it... Oh, excuse me. I see it's right here on your check. Yeah. In care of your winter quarters. Uh, mail address to you there will reach you at all times? That's right, Major. There. 
All finished. Oh, so soon. Oh, oh, look here, Jerry. You didn't answer the questions on the back. Huh? Oh, I didn't notice that. I'm sorry. Well, just fill those blank spaces out at the top of the page. Captain Gardner will fill out the questions about your past school activity when you get into the classroom. See, this is quite a school you have here, Major. Yes, yes, we're mighty proud of Fair Oaks. You know it's gratifying, Mr. Randall, to take in boys such as Jerry, and with a few years of training, education, and discipline, turn out men fully equipped to tackle life. Yes, I can understand that, Major. <laughs> now I've finished it. Uh, here, Major. Well, well, that was quick, Jerry. Now, uh, how about Rags? Uh, Rags? My dog. Uh, where's he going to stay? Oh, uh, I'm afraid, Jerry, we can't have your dog here at Fair Oaks. But... Well, Mr. Randall... Uh, I thought perhaps we could make some kind of arrangements for the dog, Major Davis. Uh, rags means a powerful lot to Jerry. I'm sorry, Mr. Randall, very sorry. But that's one of our most stringent rules. No cadet at Fair Oaks is allowed to have a pet. You can readily understand that if we allowed one student to have his pet with him at school, it would hardly be fair not to allow other students the same privilege. Well, now, that's right. Yeah, but I can't leave Rags. I, I just can't. We've been together uh, so long. Now, and... Jerry, uh, let's look at it this way. Let's think of Rags. He's part of the circus, son. Why, why, he'd grieve his heart out if he couldn't do his act with Bumps every day and have the backyard to run around in. Well, you know how much Bumps cares for him. Yes, and, and Slats and Hooligan and all the other clowns. Why, his life is just perfect with the circus. Boy, I love that dog, Jerry. I know you do, Bumps. Why, sure, and I'll take the best of care of him. And you can visit with him at winter quarters. And maybe we can come down here and bring him along to visit with you. Why, sure. We'll take Rags back to the circus with us. Why, he'll be happy and well taken care of it. It should make you happy to know that, Jerry. Gee, Rags. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry? Uh, yes, sir? Uh, what do you think of Cadet Phillips, the boy that met you at the train? Oh, I like him. He's all right. Do you think you'd get along with him? I'm uh, sure I would. Well, Jerry... Lee is going to be your roommate. Oh, swell. Well, now, isn't that fine? Why, you couldn't have a better roommate, Jerry. Uh, that's another <laughs> tradition, Mr. Randall. Uh -huh. As a rule, the boy that goes down to the train to meet the incoming student becomes the roommate of the new man. Well, now, think of that, oh, Jerry. Say, that's fine. Hey, oh, say, we've got to get going, Bumps. Oh, well, I'll say we do. We'll just about make that train. Well, Jerry, I guess we'll say goodbye for now. You... You study real hard and don't let us down. Remember all your circus friends expecting big things of you. I will, Mr. Randall. And don't you worry for one minute about rags here. Oh, and another thing. You be sure to write that. Sure, Bumps. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Randall, and thanks for everything. All right, Jerry. Goodbye, rags, old fella. You be a good dog, and I'll be thinking of you all the time. Well... <laughs> Goodbye, Major. If there's anything further to take up with me, just drop me a line. Oh, yes, I'll do that. Goodbye, Mr. Randall. Yeah. And goodbye to you, well, sir. Goodbye, Major. Uh, oh, come on, Rags. Goodbye, Rags. Goodbye. Well, goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye, 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 goodbye to you. Well, so long. Uh, Phillips. Yes, sir? Uh, take Cadet Dugan to your room now. Get acquainted with him and then see that he's outfitted in a fatigue uniform. I'll talk with you again later in the day, Jerry. Yes, sir. Come on, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>